the news is in coinbase is launching their own ethereum layer 2 platform which they'll be calling base coinbase is the leading u.s cryptocurrency exchange coinbase aims to extend its product offering and provide its less tech savvy users with direct access to DeFi, NFTs, and other on-chain applications. Coinbase's vision is to create a standardized, independent super chain. Before we get into the details of the significance of this and why I believe this is such a masterfully planned chess move, let's take a step back as the topic for this video today is adaptation. How long it took to adapt. We'll be looking at some of the top 10 cryptocurrencies in our space right now and they all have a same pattern that I just want to highlight and point out and the point is adaptation. Adaptation has been taking very very long so far and Coinbase now is making a move as they are US based registered centralized exchange and now they're tapping into DeFi by having their own chain because DeFi is the future and they understand that all these centralized exchanges are slowly slowly going belly up but DeFi is where everything is leading to that will be the norm where everybody will be their own bank take care of their own assets and hold on to their own wallets so um, in this video today I just want to highlight the fact that this is something great it points just to the amazing future of DeFi amazing future of crypto and that how this is perfectly timed for the upcoming bull run in early 2024 well hello and greetings everyone welcome to the bull runners welcome to the bull runners community i really hope everybody's having a fantastic day today as i mentioned in the intro in this video today it's all about adaptation how important that is and how i believe coinbase and the base chain is set up perfectly from the timing because they've been talking about having their own blockchain since 2018 and now in 2023 they finally come out with their own full-fledged test net and one thing i also have to point out they won't be coming with a coin as that will put them in deep waters with the sec so now let's get into all this how i want to start is there's a pattern in adaptation the topic is all about the adaptation of crypto so uh, crypto has been a while especially with bitcoin we've known uh it's been around since 2009 right after the financial collapse happened in 2008 it was basically a response to that and it's a technology that has changed the way we look at the traditional finance it's more transparent it's faster it's open source it's immutable and we can become our own bank. So I just want to point some patterns out and let's start with Bitcoin, which is the largest cryptocurrency in the world. And keep in mind, the topic here is adaptation. So back in July, 2013, you were able to purchase Bitcoin for right under a hundred dollars. And you see how it was flatlining all the way from 2013 2017 is when the interest picked up a bit. It actually hit 17,000 and then uh, it died off again. And it wasn't until the end of 2020 when Bitcoin really started taking off. And we all know what happened in 2021 November. That's when the peak came and uh, that's when it hit its all time high to date. The point that I want to show you though, at the beginning, you see the adaptation process, how it took years all the way from 2013 and even further behind. The adoption was flatlined and it took a long time until the adoption took place. So we saw that as the onboarding got easier, as more exchanges came out, the it eased the adaptation much faster. Now, if we go to Ethereum, we'll notice the same pattern. Just flattened out. Back then in 2015, you were able to get Ethereum for right under 90 cents. And the volume was just 400,000. And you see how it took a while. 2017 came up a bit, but then it died out again. And it wasn't until end of 2020 and beginning of 2021 when it really started picking up. We see this pattern also if we go over to Binance will notice the same pattern as well back in 2017 you were able to get Binance for a dollar 28 cents and it just flattened out it was just flat flat from 2017 all the way to the end of 2020 and beginning of 2021 that's when Binance really started taking off I just pointed out these three patterns with this top three cryptocurrencies that are the most popular in our space 
and they have been around the longest they have the longest track record so that's why i i just pointed out these three so you see how adaptation has has been stalling and i took a while to get there and now back to the reason why this base chain is so significant is because for one coinbase is already an established and the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the u.s it's registered and heavily regulated and now it's tapping into cryptocurrency and actually establishing its own layer 2 blockchain that is based on ethereum that is powered by ethereum they'll be using the ethereum for transaction fees and their main focus is to onboard a billion users and on-ramp them over into DeFi. so bull runners what's this about the main message behind this video today is that at the beginning it took long for crypto to be adapted and it wasn't until the end of 2020 and beginning of 2021 that it really took off and didn't stop until it hit its all-time high same happened to ethereum same happened to binance and to many many other altcoins as well now with this coinbase having their own chain they're tapping into DeFi directly their decentralized apps specifically and they're assisting that they want to onboard existing user base which is by the last numbers over 108 million users they want to introduce them into DeFi, and that means that the wave and the timing couldn't be any better because now they'll be getting market share from binance from kraken and from all these other exchanges that have been questionable coinbase being one of the largest actually the largest crypto exchange in the u.s being backed by blackrock and goldman sachs and now being highly regulated it will put so many more retailers at ease to be able to get back and ease back into crypto so the on-ramp through base chain will be so much smoother and so much easier as it will be a familiar crypto exchange that has been around for a long time that is regulated and now is offering DeFi opportunities for their not so tech savvy individual and making it easy for them to use their coinbase wallet and get into DeFi. so this is a good thing for the whole crypto space as DeFi is here to stay as new crypto users will be entering the space like i said in one of my last videos only 4% of the total global population is actually using cryptocurrency. Coinbase is already being the largest and most used cryptocurrency exchange in the US and they're really well regulated, well backed by large institutions such as Goldman Sachs and BlackRock. They're putting themselves in a great position as they're lining up to capture a large market as the next bull run is about to take place so in this video today i just wanted to point out that the adaptation this time will be much more enormous than we've seen in the in the past their aim is to be a super chain that introduces the masses into DeFi. this is something great for us as i always say we have something very special in bull run we are we are a very sustainable crypto platform like i said we have a very low supply that we started with only a million. We have very strong tokenomics that is focusing heavily on solving our liquidity issue by giving 4% on buys and 5% on sales into liquidity pool. We also have the ban that is taking away tokens from Uniswap, BRL tokens from Uniswap and burning them from the total supply. We have our staking platform that gives out staking participants usdc distributions in order to remain deflationary and we have our staking boosters that serve as revenue that we use to do buybacks to even add more liquidity into uniswap community we are solving an actual problem and that's the liquidity issue and that's what the ecosystem is all focused and all about with every trade bull run retains liquidity keeps binding tokens and removing them from the total supply those that want to participate in our dual staking platform have the opportunity to have usdc distributions the full force of bull run and its ecosystem and the mechanisms that are in place will be shown during our very first bull run every project that has been around for more than one, one and a half years has experienced the largest bull run yet in the crypto industry i believe the next one that is about to come will be even larger than the last one because the adaptation will be in full force we're also coming from a war from high inflation so the conditions are really placed nicely and also 
the Bitcoin halving is on the way as well and will be taking place early 2024. So everything seems to be aligning very well for the next bull run. And I just want to encourage us as a community that we have very strong fundamentals and this will be able to set us apart and put us in a very comfortable situation during this time. For now, I just want to thank you all for your contributions, for all your hard work, for your positive energies in the Telegram group and for your engagements on Twitter want to thank you all very very much we have solid tokenomics we have an amazing platform and we have a very very sustainable ecosystem this is the video for today i hope it was very informational to you for now wishing you a wonderful rest of your day and as always let's keep in touch